I think it's safe to say that we're in the middle of an imaging revolution. We have seen, just in the last year, close to two billion cameras sold worldwide. It's just a staggering number when you think about the fact that there's less than seven billion people on Earth. The camera as we know it today is based on the camera obscura model, which is the pinhole camera model, and that served us extremely well for the last century or so. Many of us are interested in figuring out whether we can design new types of cameras which capture visual information in radically new ways. So here is a, our first prototype of a flexi flexible sheet camera where you can imagine that you have your pixels at the bottom here and you have this flexible lens array on the top. The key innovation here is a type of lens that's made of elastic material so that when you bend it, each lenslet on the lens array changes shape. Naturally, it's being flexed. The field of view changes with the curvature of the sheet underneath it. Imagine that you could actually produce these cameras as rolls of plastic, and then you can just cut it out and wrap it around a pole to capture a 360-degree image or around your car so that you can have situational awareness in the case of autonomous driving, or even a, a, a camera of the future being more like a credit card, something that you can just take out of your wallet and bend to change the field of view and capture a picture. In the case of a camera, ideally you want it to be completely self-sustaining. And the idea of a self-sustaining camera is also one that can power itself. Cameras measure light, but light can also be converted into electrical energy. So we started thinking about whether we could redesign the pixel in the camera so that it can not only measure the light falling on that pixel, but it can also harvest energy or convert the light that it measures into energy. We have designed an image sensor with a new type of pixel which toggles between image capture and energy harvesting and it keeps going between the two and at a certain light level which is a well-lit indoor scene say for instance it can produce video indefinitely without ever requiring any external power. It's very hard to predict when these things would be real products because the camera industry is driven by a small number of players who essentially control what the future of the camera is. So what's nice about being in research in academia is that we come up with these ideas and we are then in a position where we can try and convince the industry that these are worth pursuing. But ultimately, this is a freight train that's running and the question is, when is this train going to stop and take a turn? And that's really decided by the market. It's also decided by the applications of imaging and by the industry that builds the cameras.